Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So today we're back with another Tech Tuesday. And as you see in the background, we have a stepper motor from the uh, CR6 Max 3D printer. Now, of course, these motors are mostly universal for a lot of the 3D printers and they you know, will fit other ones. Uh, but this is for the CR6 Max. We know that's the 4240. So in previous videos, we had talked, uh, you know, a little bit about the uh, the motor itself and the the gears and you know that goes on it and the uh, basically the extruder. Uh, but this is a video that you guys out there kind of reach out to us and said, hey, I want to know a little bit more about the motor, uh, what it does, if I have some you know issues in regards to uh, it not turning fast enough. I mean, there there was quite a few questions, but we're gonna cover. A little bit of that and into this video and try to go over it as quick as possible so th this is the stepper motor they're fairly easy to remove and take off just make sure when you are removing these you of course you see the the electrical connection here there's a tab in there just make sure you pull that tab off don't you know make sure you, if you need a tool or a little screwdriver with a flat head and just kind of push it off but don't yank on these they will uh, this was one question we had uh, some of these prongs break off uh, because they were just being too aggressive with it. I mean, the, these printers, when you do work on any small electronics and you never look, worked on them, just try to be very delicate when you're taking them off. Uh, secondly, the next question that we had, and we're going to kind of go through some of those questions, we had, um, you know, about the, as far as tightening down the screws. Um, we had a couple, uh, unfortunately, they got stripped out. Uh, when, I guess when they you know, were trying to uh, put the actual extruder on top, they were upgrading the extruder and they stripped these out and caused a little bit of a problem uh, within the motor. And then they had to go pick up a motor, another motor because it was all stripped out because of the screws uh, just were over tightened. Uh, but do be careful that these motors are fairly inexpensive, which is good. Uh, but of course, you don't want to be having to go and replace them all the time, especially if they're out because anymore with a lot of shipping stuff, things are, you know, not coming in as quickly to the um, places you're ordering them. So when you are tightening these screws, of course, just tighten them to where they get snug. And what I mean by that is don't try to take the wrench itself or, or Allen key and then tw turn it, keep turning it, just turn it a little bit till it gets snug and you can feel it catch. And that should be sufficient. I mean, if they loosen up on you a little bit, you'd rather have them loosen than to over tighten them uh, because that becomes an issue. So this, the basically the third question um, was there's a gear, of course, that's up here. And we talked about that in a previous video. And Again, we had also talked in that video about not over tightening that gear because you can strip out the brass gear. Um, and that's another issue that they had. And then they also wondered about where to get those gears. And you can buy those in multiple packs, meaning you could buy one or you could buy six or you could buy 10. I would recommend always having them because you never know when one's either defective or it might strip out. So that is the next question in regards to the motor here and you can see this one's already installed on the, the uh, printer itself is about some of the wiring and the as you see the filament protector that's going through here now when you do remove these from your your printer if you don't like where the wiring goes or the adjustments you can you know get a wire tie or uh, they do give you those little clips you can adjust those we had some questions about uh, even when uh, you, you got your brand new printer, these wires were just kind of free floating and hitting into the motor or they were coming back and forth there. You know, even when you buy the new printers, you're going to have to make several adjustments and kind of work with these wires and move them around. Even the plug that we had talked about, about not pulling on that and stripping that out too as well. So you want to make sure that is, you know, somewhat free floating because there is a lot of movement up and down in the, when they're, printing and you don't want to have this wire tied down or something like that when you're printing it's going to cause a huge issue so we'd always recommend testing everything after you've installed something new or replaced something that may have uh, malfunctioned always test it do a couple test prints make sure everything's set up 
and then once you know and you've confirmed that it's all ready to go then you you know start your print so this is the motor in regards to some of the questions that we had uh there there was a, a few other ones out there uh in, in regards to that and we'll try to answer those in uh other future videos that are more related to your questions but if you do have additional questions within the motor or the innards of the motor or other motors that are out there or maybe some issues that you guys ran into of course put those in the comments below and like and do subscribe so that we'll get notifications for the next video up and coming